Hey guys, my name is Maria Sul, and today we're doing a Tarot 101 course, and this is the continuation of the Cup series. Now, starting off, we have the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups, basically, the, the idea behind the Four of Cups is that you are, um, to a certain degree, bored. You're not... Um, being fulfilled by your emotions anymore because you have so many and or it's it's almost like saying um, too much of a good thing is not always good you know what I mean and you're just sort of like oh you know like I'm still in this rut and you seem to not be able to get out of it um, so it usually means something like like depression or just you're, you're just tired of the same old, same old. Um, you're not excited anymore. You're not um, emotionally excited. You're sort of just like, eh, like the water has become very stale. Um, and it hasn't been moving. So there's no emotional excitement in your life at this moment. You do have a lot of emotion, but it's not exciting. It's just very much like, oh, that again, you know? So that's um, the Four of Cups. Put this one aside. Now the um, the five of cups is basically uh, crying over spilled milk. Um, as you can see, you know somebody has a, a black robe on, uh, and black robes usually symbolize mourning. Um, <clears throat> so when you're reading this, you may see it as you know somebody that you care about has left you, um, and you feel kind of hopeless because as you notice, it, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but the person is staring at the cups that have spilled, that has that have fallen onto the ground. Um, but they don't notice that they have the other two cups right here. So it's not saying that all hope has, has, has left you. I mean, you still have options. You still have um, things that you care about. The only thing is that at the moment you're just so concentrated on this that you don't see um, the possibilities, the things that you do have. The silver lining on every uh, cloud. Um, <clears throat> so you have that, it, it's usually depression and you're just crying over something that you can't control, that, um, you know, that, that something tragic for you emotionally has occurred and that you don't see at the moment, you don't see the potential that you have for coming out of that. Okay, so now the Six of Cups, as you can tell, it's basically too young. I know some people say that, that this one is a dwarf and this is a little girl. I personally just see them as two children. Um, and the cups are filled with roses and flowers and all sorts of uh, wildflowers of, of vegetation and whatnot. Now, for me, this usually means hope as well. This means hope and also it means hope with what you are already comfortable with. It's, it's reminiscing of the old days when you were young and um, you were more carefree. You didn't have to worry about um, of bills and you didn't have to worry about uh, work or what have you it's more of a carefree type of emotion and this usually happens when you have family around you or old friends that you haven't seen in a very long time um, it is a, a, a card to rejoice and to um, remember old ways and old things in your life and a lot of uh, renewal a youthful renewal as well um, so that's what I have for you guys for today, for these lovely cards that we are watching right now. Let me do this so you guys can see better. So, okay, so we are done with the, with the four, the five, and the six of cups. Next round will be up to card ten of the cups, and then the last video would be the queen and king and, well, the court cards. Other than that, guys, uh, it was a pleasure. Um, other than that, much love and blessings.